Hey guys, Scott from iFixit here, and today I'm going to be talking about the teardown of the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Overall, pretty similar to other Galaxy phones. For example, taking the rear panel off requires lots of work as it's super adhered. The nice thing is, once you fight through it though, we are greeted by Phillips screws, and that's something nice uh, to see. And then the headphone jack can pop out, the cameras can come out kind of easily, which is very nice for repairability. Uh, one of the things that does need to be talked about is the battery, because it was super adhered to the phone and we all know the Samsung has had issues with batteries before namely the Note 7. One thing we did notice is that things such as the voltage and power ratings were identical however can we say if this battery is going to explode? Not really because it was more internal components that were causing the Note 7 batteries to explode not so much the voltage itself. That being said it is still super adhered to the phone so worst case scenario Samsung does have another exploding battery they're going to have a lot of work getting these exploding batteries out of the phone. We also removed the display. Now the edge-to-edge -edge display looks very nice and it feels nice in the hand. That being said, it's pretty hard to take off. It's heavily adhered to the phone and Although we were able to take this display off without damaging it, I think people that aren't experienced might have issues trying to remove this without cracking the OLED or the digitizer. Another component we wanted to look at was the camera. Uh, we wanted to pull the cameras out of that Samsung Galaxy S8 and maybe compare that to those found in the Samsung Galaxy S7. Now when we pulled the camera out of the S8, namely the rear facing camera, and tried to compare it, it looked identical to the rear facing camera found in the S7. However, upon some further investigation, we looked at the specifications and found that the S8 does in fact have a different image sensor. Whether or not the image sensor is going to cause a huge difference in how the camera functions, the jury's still out, but we'll be curious to hear what happens. After publishing the teardown, we got some questions on Twitter. Josh asked us, how will the curved display affect repairability? Is there any silver lining to this one? Although the curved display does look nice, uh, historically, curved displays are a little tougher to repair because it's harder to get the display off without cracking anything or breaking it. So, unfortunately, I think this, the curved display is going to negatively affect the repairability of the phone. Do you know how the home button works since there's no pressure sensor? Does it have a separate taptic engine or use the same vibration motor? Now, the home button, although it's in a new location and there is no pressure sensor, it's still maybe not the most new technology. It's likely a capacitive touch sensor, similar to those found on the iPhones. Also, the vibration that's going to be generated when you touch it is just like any other haptic vibration motor found in the phone, similar to that in the S7, and there's only one haptic motor in this phone. Am I right in observing that the charging port flex module no longer has a button ribbon that folds around the midframe and underneath the glass? If so, techs everywhere are rejoicing right now. Well, techs everywhere should be rejoicing. As there's no longer any physical buttons there, there's no longer any ribbon cables that you can cut when trying to take the display off. Therefore, repairability is going to be a bit easier. Is the S8 rear camera interchangeable with the S7? Now, we did put an S7 camera on the board of a S8, and the connector fits, but the form factor of the camera itself is different, so you're not gonna be able to squeeze an S7 camera into a Galaxy S8. Lastly, since publishing the teardown, we've already had two people notify us that they've broken their rear panels. We really hope this isn't part of a larger trend, but we'll have to wait and find out. If you hadn't had the chance to already, check out the full teardown on iFixit.com, or you can check out the video teardown here on our channel. See you next time.